How long does it take to prepare for the P-Power exam? This is one of the most frequently asked questions that I get from students who are preparing for the P-Power exam. And in this video, we are going to go over some of the details regarding P-Power exam preparation timelines. The magic number for P-Power exam preparation based on my personal experience and working with a lot of students is anywhere between 300 to 500 hours. In my opinion, there are four major factors that determine where exactly you fall in between this 300 to 500 hour range. Let us start with factor number one, which is your starting point. Now, when it comes to PE power exam, as compared to FE exam, individuals who have been working in the industry actually have an advantage. So I like to break it down in three steps. Step number one is, when did you take your FE exam? Now there are chances that you might have been given the exemption and you might have been able to skip the FE exam altogether. Now those type of cases are very rare and we'll assume that you took the standard route which is you took the FE electrical exam and now you're preparing for the PE power exam. Now if you took the FE exam within the last six months, three months or within the last year, then you are fresh from studying the FE specification, which involves a significant portion of PE, I would say 20 to 30 percent. There's an entire section on PE, on uh, uh, power. There is section on uh, power electronics. Math obviously is there as well. And on top of that, you have a momentum that you can cash in on when you're preparing for the PE power exam right after the FE electrical exam. So if you've taken your FE exam recently, then you have an advantage. So your starting point is not zero, it is a little bit higher. If you have been working in the industry, especially in the design capacity, you work with the code quite frequently, then that basically means that it gives you an additional boost. Because if you've gone through the PE power exam specification, you'll see that about anywhere between 15 to 20 percent depending on how you look at it of the entire specification is directly or indirectly composed of code and primarily NEC. So if your day-to-day -day job involves working with code and if you have plenty of experience working with the code then that is a big plus as well. And last but not the least is whether you have had any previous attempts. Now, if you've had previous attempt, I know it can be scary, it can all also be depressing and disappointing, but the way you gotta look at it is positively, because in your past attempt, when you went through the P-Power exam preparation, you went through the specification, you have a decent understanding of most of the concepts. So again, your starting point is not square one, it's not zero. You are probably 40, 50, 60, 65% there and you just need an additional boost and incremental improvement in order to make it happen. So depending on your starting point, you uh, your timeline would be different. So if you checked all of those boxes, if uh, you took the FE exam recently, if you have good experience with the code, and if you have not necessarily failed the exam previously, but if you have a very good understanding of the specification of what you're getting into, um, whether it is through your past attempt or whether it is through your um, in-depth involvement or prep off and on preparations. So all of that tells me that you are probably closer to the 300 hour range as compared to the 500 hour range. And converse is true. If you took FE exam a while back or you skipped the FE exam and your job does not involve any type of code work and you haven't worked as a design engineer, and you have no idea about the specification, then you're probably leaning more towards the 500 hour range. The second factor that impacts your P power exam preparation timeline is very simple and straightforward. It is the number of hours that you plan on putting in every week. So if you're discussing a range of 300 to 500 hours, let's say you fall perfectly in between, which is 400 hours. So if you plan on putting in 10 hours per week, 400 divided by 10 is equal to 40, which translates into 10 months, which is a long period of time. Now let's say you're able to double up the level of effort to 20 hours a week, that would translate into 400 divided by 20, which is 20 weeks, and that is five months, it's more reasonable. And let's say on another extreme, you are putting in 40 hours of preparation time on a weekly basis, which is basically equivalent to a full-time job, 
majority of the students who are working full time will not be able to pull it off. But hypothetically, if you're putting in 40 hour exam preparation time, then 400 divided by 40 is equal to 10 weeks. That basically means two and a half months. So you can see that the number of hours that you're putting in really determines has a huge impact on your exam preparation timeline. And these hours that you're putting in have to be meaningful. They have to be focused studying. They have to basically result in you zoning in rather than zoning out when you're studying, which is very important. So on average, you can see that five month preparation timeline with about 20 hours per week, which you can consider as a part time job in addition to your 40 hour full time job is already a big ask. But even with that level of effort, you're looking at about five ish month timeline for P power exam preparation. Factor number three is the intensity of effort and it builds upon the last point that I was discussing. So when you get down to studying, you have to adopt an active learning style. I have a separate video which goes over active learning style in quite a bit of detail, but to put it very simply, every single minute of your studying, you should make a proactive, you should make a conscious effort of making sure that it really counts. It really counts towards your exam preparation progress. If you're zoning out and if you're having your attention diverted or spread out in terms of having a YouTube channel going on, listening to music which is distracting or checking Netflix or checking WhatsApp and your emails off and on, those minutes essentially are diluted. That level of effort is diluted. So whenever you get down to studying, whether it's half hour, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, one hour session or four hour session, try your level best to make as focused effort as possible. And the fourth and the final factor that can have a huge impact on your exam preparation timeline are the exam preparation resources that you decide to use for your P power exam preparation. So let's start with effective exam preparation resources. These are the exam preparation resources that are going to respect your time and energy. It's going to streamline your exam preparation process, make it more interesting, maybe more enjoyable, and most importantly, make it effective. Because if the exam preparation resources is causing you more distraction, more frustration, then it's going to derail you from your PE power exam preparation journey. And that is the last thing that you want. Your exam preparation resources are the aids, the, they are the tools that are there for uh, your utilization so that you can deploy them effectively and help create that slingshot effect essentially that can propel you in your exam preparation journey rather than create obstacles and hurdles and make the exam preparation, which is already a tough ask as I just mentioned, most of the students who are going to be taking the P power exam are already working full time. So even if you want to get this exam done in five ish months, which is almost a half year, you still have to put 20 hours of your focused effort. Okay. Now throw on top of this something that doesn't facilitate your exam learning, but derails you, then you will most likely not make that journey completely. And even if you're able to stick through with the exam preparation resources, they're not ultimately going to yield the result that you're asking for or that you're hoping for. And that can be a huge setback, a setback that can potentially uh, demotivate you from pursuing the journey. So that is the extreme. But I hope that if you choose the effective exam preparation resources and do your research, um, look through the reviews, ask your colleagues and friends, and once you decide with an exam preparation resources, hopefully it's an effective one, then it can take you through from point A to point B and help streamline your level of exam preparation and uh, also deliver the results. So in summary, it takes anywhere between 300 to 500 hours to prepare for the P power exam preparation. And the four factors that we discussed were the starting point. If you're starting from say 20 to 30% of exam preparation, whether you have the advantage of having completed the FE exam recently, whether you work as a design engineer in the industry and you have a lot of experience with the code, 
or whether you have attempted the PE power exam in the past or you have a very good understanding of the specification already. So all of these things can increase your um, starting point essentially. So you're starting with an advantage and that can shrink the exam preparation timeline from say 500 hours to 450 hours or 400 hours or 350 hours or maybe up to 300 hours as well. The second factor we discussed was the number of hours that you're willing to put or that you're able to put on a weekly basis. And the number we settled upon was that if you're working full time, then 20 hours for P power exam preparation is probably a reasonable ask. If you can put more hours, then obviously it will, the timeline will shrink proportionately. The third factor that we discussed was the level of intensity. So I recommend adopting an active learning style and giving your heart and soul into the exam preparation, essentially putting in a lot of uh, focus time. It's the focus time that really counts, not simply the time. And last but not the least are the exam preparation resources. If you're using effective exam preparation resources, they are going to propel your exam preparation. And if you're using ineffective exam preparation resources, it's going to derail your exam preparation. And the final advice that I'd have for you is that don't delay this exam. If you've already passed that exam, try and cash in on the momentum. And the longer you put it off, the more busier your life is potentially going to get. Uh, more responsibilities on personal and professional fronts. So it only gets more and more difficult as the time goes on. So if you're thinking about uh, taking this exam, then the right time to jump into it is now. Unless you know exactly that over the next few months, you're going to be busy on pro your professional front and your personal front, then obviously it doesn't make sense to add um, more load to your workload already. But if you think that you have a window of opportunity where you can cash in on the momentum from your FE exam and you can get over with this P power exam, which is a pretty challenging exam in its own way, then don't delay, don't procrastinate it, just do it.